So today we've had to cancel our aerial display and we're actually moving indoors. So it's about being able to adapt to different situations. One thing I want to do is explain why it's unsafe to fire outdoors. And for that, I think we'll go indoors. Well, the thing with fireworks is what goes up must come down and it's this stuff fallout and this is all taken from fireworks that have gone off and it's the rubbish that's come back down. So these ones here are from shells. So these are quite high altitude fireworks. These are five inch uh, diameter shells and this is the casing that's left behind. So after the fireworks done its thing in the sky, this is the stuff that comes back down. Sometimes it's burning, but it's always got traces of material on. And if you've got people outside looking up into the air, the last thing you want to do is have this stuff falling on them because it's really unpleasant. Now what we do to work out where it's going to go is we do mathematical modeling. And I'm going to show you on the screen here. And we put in our data and we put in the wind speed and it gives us an opportunity to predict where our fallout is going to go. And if we look at the map here, for the rugby ground where I was due to fire tonight, you can see quite clearly these red circles here are showing where the rubbish is going to go. The yellow circles on the screen show us where the shells would have break, but the red one is where our rubbish is going to go. That's over houses. In fact, it's over several rows of houses. Completely unacceptable. We cannot take that risk. And that's the thing with fireworks. It's about having the confidence and knowing the material you're working with to be able to make that call because we don't just necessarily have to cancel the show. What we do first of all is we'll say, well, our high altitude effects, we'll take those out of the show, so our show gets lower in the sky. The lower you are, the less far the fallout's going to go. But tonight, unfortunately, the wind is so high, it's an absolute no fire. 